Okay, so apparently, according to Ryan Rashog of TSN, Jesse Paul Jarvi, or however you say his name, is probably going to be playing for a different team next season. Okay, the Edmonton Oilers are in all kinds of trouble. They've got a Vander Kane to deal with, they've got a 90 year old goaltender to deal with. Darnell Nurse's big contract is about to kick in next season. He's a nurse that's about to get paid like a doctor. And they've also got to deal with Kyler Yamamoto and Jesse Paul Yarvey. They both need to be signed during the offseason as well. So yeah, things are far from wine and roses over in Edmonton right now. Just ask poor Connor here. And with Paul Yarby most likely being the odd guy out right now, Jimmy Murphy, no relation to Eddie, recently suggested that Ryan Paling for Jesse Paul Yarby straight up one for one might just be a good change of scenery for both the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens. Wow. Now my initial thoughts after reading this is where does Paul Yarvey even fit into the Canadians lineup right now? They've already got Cole Caulfield, they've got Josh Anderson, they've got Brendan Gallagher and friends all playing that same side of the ice. So I don't think it really makes sense to bring this guy in here right now, you know, maybe just have him in the locker room and toss a paper ball at him once in a while. Where's he gonna fit? The only way that this makes sense in my opinion is if a series of trades go down, you know what I mean? Maybe Kent Hughes watches a couple of John Wick movies and just goes into work the next morning and goes insane? Pfft, I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and bring both of these lads up onto the screen here and we'll do some comparisons. On the left, we got Jesse Paul Yarvey, who's a 24 year old 6 foot 4 Goomba looking wild animal that was drafted by the Edmonton Oilers back in 2016, fourth overall. And I'd bet they'd like to do that one over again. Haha! <laughs> See, the Habs aren't the only team that missed out on a Kachuk. And then on the right side of the screen is Ryan Paling. He's a year younger than Paul Yarvey at 23 years old. He's six foot two and he's also a first round pick himself. Selected 25th overall by the Montreal Canadiens in 2017. As for their statistics, Paul Yarvey had himself a career high this season with 36 points in 65 games. But I mean, what's there to really say about this guy? He didn't really live up to the hype, didn't he? He kept underperforming. Then back in 2019, he got a little pissy and headed back to Finland so he could go back and play with the carpet. And what do you know? This guy went back and actually put up some nice numbers. But overall, for the Edmonton Oilers, he was very underwhelming and this is why he finds himself in the position that he's in today. Moving on, as for Ryan Paling statistics. This guy shot himself in the foot right off the hop. Back in 2018-2019, he would play the last game of the season and he sit the bar pretty high. He scored a hat-trick against the Leafs. Fans were going wild. It was Paling Mania at the Bell Center. He was going to be the next big thing. Right up until, well, he tried again and uh, it didn't work out as well the next time. You see, our boy Paling would be up and down like a light switch from the AHL to the NHL over the next few years. But last season, he was caught back up to the Canadians and he would do fairly decent, putting up 17 points in 57 games. And look, okay, overall, I think Uncle Jesse obviously has a higher ceiling. I don't think Paling is going to be top six material, you know, unless he gets his hands on some of Popeye's spinach or something. He's probably going to be a bottom six kind of guy, which is absolutely fine because, hey, every team needs some of those guys as well. But Paul Yarvey, on the other hand, he's got the tools to play in the top six. But the question is... Is he ever going to reach the potential? This guy should have already cemented himself playing on the wing of Connor McDavid. Jeez, he's had years to prove himself. And now he's on the trading block. Good job, Jesse. 
I'm sure the asses of Oilers fans are chapped. Anyway, that pretty much does it for this one. I don't think this trade makes sense as it stands right now. I also think that the Oilers are going to be looking for a little more than just Ryan Paling. Maybe they'd want a draft pick as well. But what I want to know is what do you guys think of this one? Do you think it's just verbal diarrhea from Eddie Murphy's cousin here? Or do you want to see something like this happen? Let me know all about it down in the comments section. And hey, I'll see you next time.